Hey you guys, it's Bray. Today we're here to talk about a few different things. I want to talk about um, James Charles for a second. I want to talk about Colleen Ballinger and Jojo Siwa a conversation that I saw happening over on the Colleen Ballinger Reddit. And I just want to continue this conversation with, you know, the fact that when, when, when I, as somebody who has been covering Colleen for so long, when I take a step back and I look at the things that are happening current day after everything that has happened, you know, leading up to this point, it really frustrates me to see that people are still willing to support those like Colleen and James Charles and the Lopez brothers. Like there's these people who exist online. They have literally been proven to be awful individuals and they're still having people fighting in the comments. So if any of the Colleen Ballinger fans come across this video, because there's usually at least a couple of y'all out there, go ahead and sound off in the comments below. Why are you willing to continue to adore, respect, and admire somebody as a monstrous with Colleen? I'll be open to hear it. My comments are open. But either way, we're going to go through a few things. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so if I sound a little sick or, excuse you, um, if I sound sick or congested, my allergies are like really bothering me um, today, so I'm handling, handling it, but I feel like I sound a little congested. Just wanted to put that in the beginning of the video for anyone who thought of it as well. I was over on her Reddit, which of course I'll link down below, and this video I thought was interesting. Colleen, in a recent video, talked about how she had to cut her hair short because she needed to not be herself, not look like herself, blah, 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 blah. This is, of course, following her uh, infamous ukulele video. She chopped her hair off. But the person that made this video had a really good point in that, so you don't want to be that person that you were. So you chop your hair off shortly after this ukulele catastrophe is published, but the ukulele video is still up on her channel as of today. So if you didn't like who you were and you want to chop your hair off and you want to, you know, reinvent yourself through your haircut, why is that video still up? That tells me that you stand by you literally stand behind that video and you're going to continue to stand behind that video. It is embarrassing. It is so ridiculous that video even came out. It obviously got her a lot of backlash, a lot of criticism, a lot of people who didn't even know Colleen know about the ukulele video. Catastrophe. Long. My hair was like literally like down to here or something. Like it was so freaking long and I cut it so short. It was like at my chin. I needed that haircut at the time. I needed to cut that weight off. I needed a change. I needed something different. I didn't want to look like me. I didn't want to feel like me. I needed this haircut. Too bad. Her haircut that was meant to try and cover up her real self didn't really change her personality. Maybe she cut it because of this video. <laughs> Yet again trying everything possible to erase the existence of this video. But she won't. Delete the video? How strange, obviously not deleting the video, because she's proud of it. What a bitch. I needed a change. I ne oh my gosh, a simple haircut doesn't change you. This woman is absolutely incapable of changing. Once a groomer, forever a groomer. Am I right? So quirky, right? And stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. So it's just like constant, with, with this one, it's just always her being a hypocrite. Like if you don't, if you don't agree with who you were in that period of time, cutting your hair, whatever, why don't you go ahead and delete the video where you are victim blaming and talking about poking me in my bony little back and saying how everybody is just on a toxic gossip train. Luckily, most of us saw right through her bullshit and she put that video out. 
But either way, that was the first video. What I really want to talk about is this, um, it says, came across these TikTok comments based on why 30-year-old plus Colleen was hanging around a minor aged Jojo Siwa. The top comment, the original comment is, why was Colleen hanging out with a 15-year-old? And of course, the Colleen Ballinger fandom comes in the comments and someone says, every YouTuber hung out with Jojo Siwa at the time. She was trendy. Somebody else, and then this is exactly my response to it, someone said, yeah, but other ones just collabed with Jojo and then went home. Colleen hung out with her and many other children off camera. And that is true. Colleen's, what, what I'm going to call an inappropriate friendship with Jojo, went far beyond let's do a few collabs together and call it a day. Jojo was hanging out with not only Colleen, but also all of her family, collabing with all of her family, invited to uh, dinners and birthdays and gender reveals and her children's birthdays. This this is what they, the, the thing with Colleen and Jojo, it's so far outside of an older YouTuber being weird and collabing with a younger YouTuber because that younger YouTuber is up, up and coming. Someone else said, how do you know other YouTubers didn't? You weren't there. Stop making stuff up for the sake of it. And the last comment says, people just target Colleen with that argument because so many people collabed with her because she was popular. Whatever the fuck that even means, I don't know. I think that her fan base has a major issue with just recognizing the big problems. Do I think that some of the stuff that's talked about with Colleen is petty and, you know, just entertainment, like tea type stuff? Absolutely. But that's the internet. As far as the big takeaways, one of the biggest takeaways is a grown adult Colleen inappropriately engaging with her child fan base. We have seen the proof. We have seen the conversations. We have seen the videos the ones that are out there, that is what we're talking about. And that is why I am not going to let off of Colleen Ballinger. I am always going to continue to cover her. She is somebody who continues to use her children for content. And let's just say that there was nothing else wrong with her. Just the fact that she's using her kids to remain relevant on social media is enough for me in my opinion, to make videos about her. Just imagine how these kids are going to feel when they get older and they see all of the stuff that Colleen was involved in and then simultaneously she's using them in videos so that she can continue to get views on YouTube. I've said it before, I'll say it again, there are going to be so many broken parent-child relationships over the next 10 to 15 to 20 years because of a lot of these um, online content creators. You know, Jojo C was over here on TikTok acting like she doesn't know how to fill up her own car with gasoline. So quirky, so relatable, Jojo. Just, uh. But I want to talk about James Charles for a second because James has been collabing with all kinds of different people and James, like Colleen, is an adult that was being inappropriate with minors numerous times. James Charles, James Charles and Jojo, I feel like both of them, I have a visceral response when I have to listen to them or watch their content. It's so enraging to see people like this continue to be rewarded with millions of views, PR, trips that are paid for, living in luxury homes. I just think that people that hang out with other people that are inappropriate, it bothers me because that tells me that you have an extremely warped view of reality. If you are able to continue to support people like this, and Jojo has very loudly continued to support Colleen and James Charles. Just a few days ago, they did this video together where they're dancing and 
acting all, you know, whatever. James also used JoJo's new song to create a catastrophe of a little video here. I'll throw that in here. He's also been hanging out with this guy, Balin. Yeah, they kind of look alike, but they've been in a few different videos together. So, Balin, sir, why are you okay hanging out with a prayer? That is my question for you. There's another um, person that James has recently worked with, and it is a teen Ortega celebrity makeup artist did a video with James. And again, I, I will say what I've always said. As somebody who provides a service to people, whether it's hair, makeup, skincare, whatever, you have a choice on who you work with. And I don't know about y'all, but I, I, I put my morals above a paycheck that I can receive. And if somebody like James Charles or somebody from his team reached out to me and said, hey, we want you to do James's makeup and appear on TikToks with him, I would have said, no, thank you. I already have clientele that is not predatory like James Charles. Thank you. Bye-bye. That would have been my response. He also put out this video claiming that he's never been to a 7-Eleven. Like, I don't know. Jojo acting like she doesn't know how to put gas in her car, or James sitting there acting like he's never been in a 7-Eleven before. Like, this is, this is just such useless, stupid content to me. And maybe some people find it entertaining in some way, shape, or form. But I find it, as I said, I, I get upset when people who are have such terrible ethics are continued to be rewarded. And specifically when James, as a creep, Colleen as a creep, continue to get clicks and views. And as far as Jojo goes, she's getting clicks and views and she is protecting the damn creeps. What on earth is happening here? I am frustrated, but I wanted to share these little um, tidbits with y'all because... It's just ridiculous, you know? Colleen looks very, very tired in this other post. I'll insert a little screen grab. I don't know what is going on with her. She's like over here wearing kids clothes. Her style transformation is being discussed on Reddit. Just so weird. Her, her attempts to be quirky and funny makes my skin crawl to be real frank. So either way, I need to move on with my day. More content coming as always. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.